the source is love. Okay. That's what it is. Having people experience it for themselves, mm. right? He always used to say, I don't want you to believe blindly. Nothing in the Bible that says anything about Christ. Where, what did he do? Where, where was he? You know? <laughs> it's been known now that he traveled to, to the East, to, to, to Tibet, to India, and yeah, learned... With Buddha! <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> At times, we all feel lost in search of something more. This is Christina Dam, and this is the Liberate the Podcast, a podcast designed to help inspire and guide you forward through everything spirituality, creativity, art, and just giving you a sense of empowerment so that you can be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Liberate the Podcast. We are welcoming back Gopala today. Mm -hmm. And today's episode is all about the season of Christ consciousness. That's the topic of the, um, tis the season, you know. So our topic today is Christ consciousness. I should say it like that. You guys know I Mm -hmm. stumble over my words. But thank you for coming back. And I'm excited to hear (laughs) what you're, what you're going to share and what we're diving into this Mm -hmm. beautiful topic around this Christmas holiday. Thank you. Namaste. 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 Thank you so much for having me again. Thank yeah, you for being here. And Chewie wanted so a front row seat when he was like, I have a feeling he's going to play that and I want to yeah, listen. He's, he's very attentive. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's very attentive. He's like, okay, well, what are you going to do here? We might as well give him a couple notes real quick. A couple little things. A couple little ones? Okay. Oh. Ah. <laughs> All right, Chewie, we got to do the, the podcast, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm sure that there's a whole bunch of different um, kind of descriptions, like with sure. many different things. So, sure. when you relay and use that terminology, what are you referring to? Well, so Christ consciousness, the way I've learned it from my guru Paramahansa mm-hmm. Yogananda, and so this is this is a huge part of his teachings. Okay, Christ consciousness and how to attune ourselves with the Christ consciousness. Okay. Yeah. So specifically today, it's all about attuning with that energy vibration. So Christ consciousness is an energy vibration or, or a frequency, exactly. right? Yes, 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 yes. So, so what Yogananda um, explains uh, about Christ consciousness is that it's basically the intelligence of God in creation. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, it's very powerful because if that is the energy that pervades the uh, creation um then if we attune ourselves with that energy yeah i mean imagine all the all the power all the intuition all the wisdom all the love that we can acquire i mean not even acquire because yogananda says we already have it we already have it so it's unlocking it it's a releasing it it's allowing it to flow that's it that's more the word yeah that's that's a much better way of putting it Okay. Yeah. And the benefits of it. Yeah. The why well, huge, huge, <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know if like words are enough to, to describe. You know. Yeah, the frequency and the. But yeah, Yogananda, as you know, um, uh, he was all about experience it, you, um, having people experience it for themselves, mm. right? He always used to say, "I don't want you to believe blindly." You know, you have to try it out for yourself, experience it. Yeah. And if it works for you, then it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, that's fine too. But, you know, a lot of the times, a lot of the times it's all about just being, um, I guess, patient w- with ourselves and, and honest too. Yeah. Right? I, th- I think it's all about being honest with ourselves and j- you feel... Um, be honest w- with where you're at and what needs yeah. to be worked on and worked through. I think a lot of people like want to hide some of the things that might be their blocks or their resistance for fear of them that they has to admit that maybe they're not perfect or not okay or whatnot. But I think being okay with where your starting point is, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm really out of alignment right now, or I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the opposite of the pendulum swinging, right? You mm-hmm, know, instead mm-hmm. of some people like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, you have that a lot with like 
people with the, with the, with diet or exercise or this or that they, they want to say that they they uh, they eat less than they do or they work out more than they do or they can lift more than they do like it's like it just be it's okay where you're at right yes and yes. then from being okay where you're at then you can keep on building that you know you can keep yes. on being better making better choices yes. growing becoming stronger right yes yes but yes, if you, yes. you're like oh no like i do this you know <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. It's, you it's know what I mean? Too. I, think, I think you guys get what I mean. It's like, you know, yeah, so like yeah. having the vibration or being in alignment with something as powerful as Christ consciousness or our whatever type of vibrations you're seeking, it's like, where are you? Are you really off of that alignment or are you in it, sort of? Do you need to, you know, and then how can that expand and grow and take it more and yeah, more? That's what it is. Yeah. That's exactly what it is, yeah. And building off on exactly what you're saying. Um, yeah, I think it's all about attunement, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about being in tune with this energy, with this vibration, with this love, right? Okay. Because that's, uh, you know, very important. Uh, Yogananda always says, the source is love. Okay. That's what it is, you know? That, is the, you know, is there, is there um, a, a mantra that you do that helps activate that? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. Actually, one of my, you know, very, um, it's a cosmic chant by, by Yogananda that's very close to my heart. And we do it, uh, we do this chant um, uh, specifically during like the, the Christmas time. Okay. A lot, but you know, you can do it anytime. And uh, it's called Cloud Color Christ. Yeah, cloud color Christ. It is a very, very powerful um, a chant, mantra, a cosmic chant specifically that, act, yeah, definitely activates that. Um, actually, there is a recording of Yogananda uh, chanting this, which it was funny because as soon as I uh, was driving up uh, up here to uh -huh. the store, that that uh, that song popped out on oh, my. Oh, amazing! <laughs> See, that, get you, get you to into the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And so the way he does it is like, whoa, uh, really powerful. So we can we can uh, you know do that so that you know everyone can experience. What do you think? This. Do you want to do that? Experience it, feel the vibration, and continue talking about the benefits and and anything else with it. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You know, the, the, they're in that alignment, being more receptive to the things that we're saying and everything too, to take more yeah, in. Exactly, right? exactly. So yeah, let's do that. Because um, Chewie's been waiting, you know, it's, it's, you know, I'm saying it's all so you can experience it, but really it's all about him experiencing it. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> doing it for him. <laughs> cool, all right. So um, yeah, let's, uh, okay. let's do it. Let's. Uh, first, uh, get on our meditation posture. Okay. Uh, we can. Um, I'm not gonna do that to do. Not it's, as as Gopala says. Not as I'm doing. Look at him if you're watching this uh, on YouTube or seeing or listen. You know, but I'm balancing. Balancing the yeah. Balancing the. <laughs> <laughs> what you, <laughs> all right. So then we just get on the meditation posture. Very simple. Just uh, uh, straight spine. And then you can rest your, your palms on your thighs. And then very important, you, you place your gaze right here, the point between the eyebrows. Not, you don't ex exert tension. It's just very, very in a relaxed manner. You just lift up the gaze, uplift the gaze there. And it's, this is the point between the eyebrows. And this is the seat mm -hmm. of spiritual perception in the body. Okay. So we just keep here. And then when we chant, when we chant, we, uh, you know, remember that the purpose of chanting is to interiorize the mind so that we become one with the seed thought of the chant that then helps us to enter states of deep meditation. Okay. okay. So we do that. And this is with the eyes closed, right? And eyes closed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and specifically placing them at the uh, spiritual eye. Okay. Your third eye. Okay. Third eye. And so this is the chant. This is called Cloud Color Christ. Very simple words, cloud, cloud clo colored Christ come. Oh my Christ, oh my Christ, Jesus Christ come. Okay. Cloud colored Christ come, oh my cloud colored Christ come. Cloud colored Christ Christ, oh my Christ, oh my Christ, oh my Christ, Jesus Christ, come. 
Maistum on just stay a brief moment here enjoying the peace we can keep chanting mentally for a little bit or just stay focused at the spiritual eye and dive deep into the peace the joy the love and the stillness of meditation Hopefully everybody feels a little bit more aligned. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So what do you want to share about this um, vibration state or what comes through for you? Well, you know, actually, um, you know, these words came very strongly um, from Yogananda. He, um, in his teachings, he says, when we you know, learn to encompass everyone in our love. When we love everyone, just as we love our close ones, when we start loving, um, you know, strangers, everyone, even our enemies, as much as we love our dear, you know, um, family or friends, we are entering into that vibration of Christ consciousness. Mm. Yeah, so this is very powerful, you know, because if you think about, you know, the life of Christ and, you know, his, his main message um, was to love, right? And to mm -hmm. love no matter what. So, um, you know, he, he, he really did love his enemies. And, uh, you know, he, uh, even as he was being crucified, you know, he, he told God, forgive them for they not know what they do. Mm-hmm. So, um, and when we can all, I, I mean, we all have the potential of, of doing that, I feel, you know, it's just a matter of, like, as you were saying, it, uh, practicing it, 
unlocking it, we can practice a little bit at a time. You know, um, we, we all go through situations in life where we are, you know, misunderstood, mistreated, right? When we, yeah. um, people, you know, try to abuse our, our friendship, our love, and so actually those are the times where we can practice this and, and just give love in return. Give always love. Mm. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's, that's um, you know, that, that is Christ consciousness, right? That has to be Christ consciousness. Yeah. When we learn to do that, like when we are mistreated, misunderstood, whatever, and we just give love back in return. Now that doesn't mean that we become dormants. In, in, in Yogananda always used to say these like he said you don't have to become a doormat you can be firm when you have to be firm mm -hmm. right you don't let people run over you uh, or abuse you or anything no but you always try to act from a center of um, calmness from a center gotcha. of love yeah okay so really connecting you with expanding your heart mm -hmm. right and then in that, you know, one of the one of the ways that I find it's easy to have that loving energy is that really understanding that everybody's a reflection, right? So yes. if you pass judgment, hate, or anger towards another person, you're doing that also on a vibrational scale of yourself, right? And so seeing and knowing, like when you say, like you know, ah, uh, when he was right before he was crucified, you know. Uh, forgive them they do not know what they do you know a lot of people mm -hmm. i think that the the fundamental f aspect of what's going on underneath anybody's intentions and be or behavior is an intention of doing well and doing yes. good yes. now that that might be misguided that might be well serving only for that individual that might be you know there might be many other options that could be of better choice mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. from that moment they feel that that's either that's a the best choice and two from a space of this is for good of some reason right mm -hmm. yeah and so if we understand that and say we're just all learning and growing mm -hmm. and evolution involves time process and lots of mistakes right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know that's mm -hmm. how we get to the next level that's right it. that's it and having yeah, that yeah, compassion and that's what's uh, so beautiful i mean i think in a at least in america and many parts of the world christmas has gotten to the point of just being about gift giving right yeah and mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. a lot of people don't even really a lot, a lot of kids even adults don't even really get the understanding behind it it's just like this is my list of what i want for christmas and you know it's like okay <laughs> yeah. well you know it's not just about presents under the christmas tree in fact that's just you know an expression of love is the gifts right you know that are given but it's not it's not about the gifts it's not the spirit yeah of, of christmas yeah. yeah and you know it's amazing that you you touched on that point because uh, yogananda actually exp says exactly the same thing and for that reason he actually um he, uh, he started a tradition uh, in, in in at the temples uh of an all-day christmas meditation hmm. which we have close to a Chris christmas okay. uh, a little bit before uh, before like the main festivities and stuff where we dedicate one day of just meditating for several hours to just you know to to um, feel the spirit of Christ and he said exactly the same thing that you're saying he said you know it's not it's not just it's not about the, the gifts it's not about the material um, you know mm -hmm. tradition no 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 it's the, really it's the the, the spiritual tradition that has to be felt the yeah. spirit of christ that is mm. the most the, important yeah, yeah. The, the love the service yeah. yes. the treating others with kindness it's yes. coming together and allowing you to be with people that you love or doing things that are for growth and expansion mm. yes you know? exactly 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 so what would you say would be some things that people could do to maybe like shift some of the traditions of just gift giving to incorporate more of the spirit 
mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. Christ consciousness and that energy into like a household, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, f the first thing that I would uh, suggest, and it, this is what's worked for me, mm -hmm. is meditation. Okay, uh, meditation. What about so, if there's like little kids in the house and different things like that too? Oh, that's a that's a good <laughs> question. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, um, they, like, what can they do? You know, or what can you do with your family? You know. Well, uh, they, I, what you were saying was very powerful to the serviceful acts. Mm -hmm. You know, the and actually in in uh, in India, this is even this is even a branch of yoga in itself, which is called karma yoga, mm -hmm. right? And karma yoga is very powerful too, and we can. Um, yeah, learn how to practice the presence of God even in, in our daily lives, right? But what uh, Yogananda suggests is that we meditate first. Okay. And then, and, and then through meditation, we, we cultivate exactly that. We cultivate that, that love, that mm -hmm. divine love, that, that, that joy, that bliss that is really beyond all outward conditions that we may have. Okay. Whether whether you know we're going through hardships or not, we we already have this foundation of of every new joy, mm -hmm. of every new bliss. That whatever happens in our lives, how however people uh, treat us or mistreat us or whatever hardships we're going through, if we already have that foundation, that every new joy that that cannot be um, destroyed by anything then what doesn't matter what happens yeah to us? what doesn't matter what happens even to the body you know and uh yeah that's that's it's getting deep <laughs> <laughs> but no i mean I'm, you know you can't take any of this with you right 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 yeah but you can always transcend with the wisdom the guidance and the uh learning so about experiences oh yes right incorporating oh, yes. more experiences service work teaching maybe even like the understanding of that vibration of love right yeah, because it is a vibration of love yeah and actually i have a, a very nice quote from oh, yeah. from yogananda about what the universe what the this universal christ consciousness is oh we'd which, love to hear um, it yeah it's um helps to um resonate in the heart and um so he said in Christ consciousness, the whole world, everyone and everything in it is your own. Mm. The whole of space and everything in it belongs to you. When you cultivate this consciousness and therein understand that everything is yours, you will have no prejudices about race or color. Mm. In that consciousness, you feel the love of a million mothers in your heart not just for a few, but for everyone. You do not imagine it, you feel it. This love that Jesus, Krishna, all of the great ones manifested, this universal intelligence and love, which is called Christ consciousness. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so, it takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know the one, just press it, little like, all right, enjoy the rest of this content. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so it's, I think, exactly what we are talking about. Nice. Mm -hmm. And what else would you like to share on this topic? Well, it's, it's, a, vast, it's a vast subject, but um, I think mainly if we keep in mind that it's really the love, the love that, that pervades all creation you know, um, and, and that just like makes everything simple to I feel, you know, like if we just feel in our hearts, right? Like just love, just love, right? Just give love yeah. without expecting anything in return. That, I mean, to me, that has to be uh, the call of Christ and this expansive Christ consciousness, right? Which pervades all creation um it has to be rooted in love you know in love and so you know i like to relate a lot to like the the, the indian tradition that um you know because yogananda um one his mission was to um show the unity between original he called it original christianity as mm -hmm. taught by jesus christ mm 
-hmm. and or original yoga as taught by Bhagawan Sri Krishna, mm -hmm. right? And so he showed the parallels of these both of these teachings to be exactly one. Yeah. You know, it made it made it made have some like outer difference in the in the in the in the way they spoke, in the way they they taught to the people in their customs. This was uh, different translations. Different translations, exactly. But the esoteric aspect is the same. Mm. And, and you find that with almost every single religion, is that there's the through line is always the same, and even the deities or angels or yeah. or whatnot, if they they ha they just called something different in different traditions, yes. but they really much map over the same type of energy, like. Yeah. Uh, Shiva and Archangel Michael or you yeah. know and this I mean it I think this helps to break the barriers of of dogma of yeah. fanaticism mm -hmm. right which I feel now it's it's finally starting to shift in certain shift. areas of the world not in every I know you know, I know. like there's but there is more and more shifting happening I think with more knowledge and teachings available on a mass scale in the in different disciplines you know yeah. i think that a lot of people create more openness and they see you know oh i can take a little bit of this and a little bit of that whatever resonates as far as the way that it's taught and how it's taught uh to yeah. incorporate the effect that is being you know because we all are filters right yes and so you know the, the best way to look at it is if uh let's just say theoretically you know or mm -hmm. or maybe this is how it happened there's this energy vibration distilling down this information onto let's say six different people on different continents around the world and they all have different traditions and 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 um daily lives and activities different plants different animals mm -hmm. and their presence different ways of mm -hmm. uh, weather and climate and this information needs to come through, but it comes through when this ahas or insights or even direct communication. It, the, to get the metaphors across, it's going to be described different from this person that lives in this region with this type of climate, with these animals, with these plants, with, with these traditions versus over here with mm -hmm. somebody on the other side of the world, right? Now, does that mean that it needs to be taken so literal? No, but in that area, in order to understand based on what the current circumstances are in the current climate, maybe metaphors and understanding to help people get it. We do that the same with kids, with people in our life, even adults, is like we want to communicate something and we know about some kind of subject matter and somebody else is a novice to it and they have no understanding of it mm -hmm. we try to communicate the understanding in their language of something that resonates with them right you know yes and exactly and you know that that's just how we do it but why wouldn't the vibration of distillment of information be the same right and so right. if you have all of these let's say six people at six different continents around the world and they create these things called religions to circle around it this exactly. is like and, and you know and then there's lines that are dip, dictated into the sacred texts uh -huh. that are very much metaphors or about individuals or or people and they describe these experiences but it's all done through the filter through the filter yes you know? yes 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 yeah, yeah no, no, that's a great great point yeah 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 that's exactly how how it's been that's yeah. exactly how it's been yeah yeah we're like you know we're maybe like for instance like dogs are great you know and 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 we love dogs and they're clean nowadays and they're very like their hygiene is is good they live in the house not on the streets but like there's you know um a sentence in the quran about you know that you shouldn't you know mm -hmm. intermix with dogs but you got to think about back in that day and that time frame dogs yeah. were dirty they had rabies they they had diseases they were living off the streets they were descendants of, like more closely from from uh you know coyotes and wolves and things like that you know so like you weren't having you weren't having domesticated dogs or even if they were somewhat domesticated yeah. they weren't 
clean, you know? Right, so of right, course right, right, it, it right. was like, it was said, you know, for whatever teachings to keep people away, but that's the, like in today's sense, don't take it so literal, right. you know, like, you right. know. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> you know? right. That's, and that's where all the, you know, that's where all the, the um, distortions yeah. happen. Yeah, and if, yeah, and if people take it literal, you know, of course there's going to be difference. Of course there's going to be separation. Yeah. Of course, you know. Yeah, and then there's going to be like, mine's better yeah. than yours and this and that. But I mean, right. like, we're all created. We all got here somehow. Who created this person versus that person? I mean, like, they, you know, like, it's like, yeah. why well, saying like, oh, only my religion's going to get, you know, into a sacred place. It's like, well, the... That, that person just might have been raised differently and I don't right. believe like God of the universe is, suddenly is uh, subjecting that person because they were raised in a different culture, a different yeah. region in the world. I mean, there's still a divine, beautiful yeah. soul, yes, right? Yes, yes. And you know, it's beautiful that you touch on this very important subject because if we, if we um, take even a look at the life of Christ, you mm -hmm. know, um, Yogananda, he uh, said that Christ is a yogi. Mm. He is a yogi, you know? And, and there's been um, a lot of uh, scientific research yeah. now that um, in, the, in, the, in the last years of Christ, you know, where, where the Bible doesn't talk about a um, uh, specific time frame of his life, mm -hmm. uh, where there's just nothing in the Bible that says anything about Christ. Where, what did he do? Where, where was he, you know? <laughs> It's been known now that he traveled to to the east, to 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 Tibet, to India, and yeah, learned with Buddha. Yes, <laughs> exactly. But like exactly. you know, they, they went on the same like pilgrimage, pretty much. <laughs> like you know, like it, you know, research your set way down and be like, okay, so is it that far off? As like you know, this person that's getting you know information and whether it's buddha or whether it's uh christ yeah, or yeah. or mohammed and channeling Krishna, uh, yeah. channeling wisdom it's like yeah. all of these individuals created a divine connection that mm -hmm. they were able to decipher and transmute that message to translated to communicate it to the masses right yes. you know and so they were a conduit and that conduit came from plugging their self in and however they plug their yeah. self in i mean even if you go back into like the egyptian days they actually used to do this 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 the, like they're finding through some of the hieroglyphics and stuff like that that they're finding that they they actually had it like it was called like um almost like a, the, the day that you died and rebirth or whatever, but you went and you went into this chamber and it was like, it pretty much it seemed like you would meditate for like a day or do some kind of psychedelic uh, um, DMT type of root type of mm -hmm. thing. And you would have this rebirthing experience, but mm -hmm. through either whether it was through this sit down meditation for a few mm -hmm. days that they mm -hmm. locked you in this cave or mm -hmm. like deeper into the pyramid or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, there's all of these, like in order to get enlightenment, it is, turning inside to turn off the outside to connect with the higher side you know like right <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah it's all about the oneness right the yeah. oneness when we feel i you know but i think it's, it has to be experienced as we have been talk, talking about right yeah. if we experience that oneness that divine love then all these prejudices exactly what from the quote right all these prejudices all these dogmas that are born out of ignorance really mm -hmm. they just automatically fade away you know because we're not we're not in that limited region of ego consciousness anymore yeah. we are expanding and in, in becoming one with the christ consciousness yeah i love that so that's uh, well, on yeah. this note, do you want to like, you know, wrap with another? Yeah, another yeah let's wrap it up with, a, with another yeah. one. Very simple. We can uh, do a, just an Om Christ. Okay. Om Christ um, uh, mantra. Okay. Should we, I kind of, I want to sit for this one. Okay. And uh, so uh, we'll, very simple, we'll just ch chant Om Christ. 
and feel that um, what we were talking about, that inner attunement with the Christ consciousness, which is one with the own vibration, so that, which is why we're chanting Om Christ. Okay. And so, you know, try to feel this expansive consciousness permeating with love, right? Remember, the source is love, it has to be love, it has to be love. Mm. Okay, so um, let's try to feel that as we chant. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining mm-hmm. us. You can check out uh, the other uh, podcasts that we did with Gopala um, or mm-hmm. look and find it on YouTube. We also have some of the short snipped bits if you're watching the whole thing so that you can just tune in for maybe one of those beautiful uh, sacred sounds and uh, allow yourself to connect in on a more regular basis and use it over and over again. Why not? You know, that's what mm-hmm. it's there for. Um, Mm -hmm. Please make sure you like, subscribe, share this with other people so they can find it too. Um, Just even a simple thumbs up or a little comment of a heart in the comment section really helps more people find us. So Mm -hmm. two seconds of your time to help more people expand their minds. Thank you so much. Until next time. Namaste. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this conversation, please like it, subscribe and share it with your friends. If you want to hear more about what we have going on and happening online or in in the neighborhood, check out liberateyourself.com and sign up for our mailing list. Uh, Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Liberate Yourself. It's you are self, you are S-E-L-F. Until next time, be powerful, be magical, and be free. Hi, everybody. I'm Christina, founder of Liberate. This is our mascots, Miss Piggy and Mr. Chu. 
Liberate is like the Willy Wonka chocolate factory for spirituality. You might wonder what the heck that is. And so basically Liberate is a place of sheer magic, activating and reigniting that magic into you so that you can live your fullest potential and most fulfilled life. When you walk through the door, you're going to see magic everywhere you look. You look down and you see a crystal floor made with over 10,000 pounds of crystals. You say that's a lot, but I know I laid them and had to do numerous trips to the crystal store to buy more and more crystals. There's all of these beautiful, magical gemstones that are activating and creating healing from the beneath and the surface. You see the tree of life when you first walk in. You go upstairs and every room has its custom sacred geometry mural in it. And then you notice that each of the rooms are labeled with different uh, names of deities or archangels from different traditions and, and religions from all over the world. This is Liberate. Liberate is a space of union. Liberate is a space of creativity. Liberate is a space of expansion. And we're here to help heal you, transform, and help you rediscover yourself.